Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In the previous video, I have discussed what is submission drawing and what are the requirements and purpose of submission drawing. In today's video, I will show you how to prepare submission drawing with scale and what is the scale factor of submission drawing. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So let's get started. So first I'll discuss about scale of submission drawing. This submission drawing is prepared with scale of 1 inch is equal to 14 feet. Some drawings are prepared with scale of 1 inch is equal to 10 feet and some drawings are prepared with 1 inch is equal to 20 feet. So what is the meaning of this 1 inch is equal to 14 feet, 1 inch is equal to 10 feet scale and what is the meaning of 1 inch is equal to 20 feet. Or if our drawing is in metric units means in meter, millimeter and centimeter that time scale is taken as 1 is to 50 scale or 1 and 1 is to 100 scale etc. So what is the meaning of these scales? So 1 inch is equal to 14 feet means unit of 1 inch in drawing is equal to 14 feet 14 feet it's real size on field so unit of 1 inch in drawing is equal to 14 feet real size on field means in field 14 feet dimension is considered as 1 inch in drawing you can also say 1 inch in drawing equals to 14 feet on field. So for example, scale of 1 inch is equal to 8 feet. 1 inch is equal to 8 feet. That means 1 inch in, 1 inch in drawing is equals to 1 inch in drawing is equal to 8 feet on side or field. 1 inch in drawing is equal to 8 feet on side or field. It's real size on field. This is 1 inch is equal to 8 feet. You need a 1 inch in drawing is equal to 8 feet on side or field. Now in case of metric units, if scale is taken as 1 is to 50 scale, here units can be in meter, millimeters or centimeter. Then 1 is to 50 scale is the representation of drawing that is 50 times smaller than its real size on field. That means the 1 is to 50 scale representing the drawing which is 50 times smaller than its actual size on field. So technically, when we say th this drawing or this object is to scale, that means it is a standardized measurement using actual dimensions that are represented by a smaller unit of measurement. These smaller increments of measurement allow us to represent a larger object or drawing in a proportionate way but at a reduced size. So when the drawing is not in full size then we can say it has been scaled down. So hope you are clear about scale. Now question is why and where we need this scale. So it was a time when everyone used to create engineering or construction drawings manually. So the engineer had to figure out scale before layouting, laying out on a sheet of paper. 
But nowadays, we draw in AutoCAD to full scale. Full scale means 1 is to 1. That means if a building is in 2000 square feet area, then you can draw 2000 square feet area in AutoCAD. You can draw any size of drawing in AutoCAD. There is no limit. You have to set your drawing limit as per dimension of the drawing. So, if scale is required to draw manually and we are drawing in AutoCAD, then when and why we need to scale a drawing? So, the answer is when you need a hard copy of your drawing. So, when you need a hard copy of the drawing, you need to print out it, but at a reduced size and in a proportionate way. Because we can't take print out in 1 is to 1 scale, right? So, once you have drawn your drawing, then you have to figure out the border of the drawing based on the type of hard copy you need to produce and scale the drawing to fit within the border. Here, so here I'll show you in this submission drawing how to choose scale means how to know the scale. So first I'm roughly taking a boundary. So this is a boundary which I'm taking roughly. Change the layer. This is boundary layer. I change the line type also. So I have taken this roughly. Now this is north south direction. First we have to make the floor plan. So this is the ground floor plan. This is the ground floor plan. This is the first floor plan. This is second, third, fourth floors are also same as first floor plan. So I am showing all in one floor plan here. This is second, third and fourth floor plan. So all these plans and elevations and sections I have already created separately and all links are given in the description box. So I will copy all floor plans with elevations inside to the created boundary. So I will copy all floor plans and elevations to inside to this boundary. This ground floor plan, this elevation and this first floor plan and this multi storied elevation I will select. I will select with this north south direction. Copy. I will copy to inside, inside to this boundary and paste here. Paste here. I have already created all these plans separately. So this is the north south direction. Next, we need minimum one section. So here, I have prepared two sections. One section on XY and another, this is section on XY and another section is section on AB which is staircase sectional elevation. So I will copy these sections also. I will copy these sections with these plans. Select all together. Copy. I will copy all. Copy. I will take this as a base point and paste here. So this is the side plan. 
the site plan its scale is 1 inch is equal to 20 feet so I'll copy this and paste inside the boundary I'll copy this and paste it here next the key plan or which is also known as location plan this is the key plan this is not to scale or without scale I'll copy this select copy and paste it here inside this boundary now this is the foundation this is the foundation this is the septic tank this is soap pit and this is the richer shaft so I'll copy all this and paste inside this boundary select select all together copy copy and paste it here you can also take base points as per your requirements I have already created all these plans separately so I am not creating it again here so this is plan of Rija Sat and this is the section now we need to copy the north south direction also which I have already done so in next video I will calculate built up area, FSI area and parking area now copy the project title block also copy this is the base point and paste it here So we have copied all plans. Now the extra spaces. So these extra spaces are not required. So I'll simply move this side to here to this endpoint and we'll stretch it from this side means I'll, I have reduced the size of border now we have to scale this drawing as per dimension of border of this drawing all our plans are in 1 is to 1 scale so we can't take we can't produce printout in 1 is to 1 scale so let's see how to make the scale so here this side dimension this side dimension this side dimension of border is 433 feet and this side is 177 feet. So size of paper we use to take printout of construction drawings are these are the usually we use these paper sizes for building construction this is A0, A1, A2 and A3 
So A chỉ đúng. A chỉ đúng size is 841 into 1189 millimeter in inches 33.1 into 46.8 inches. A1 size is 594 into 841 millimeters in inches 23.4 into 33.1 inches. A2 size 420 into 594 millimeter in inches 16.5 into 23.4 inches. A3 297 into 420 millimeters in inches 11.7 into 16.5 inches. So usually we use these paper sizes for building joints. Here this side dimension is 433 feet and this side 177 feet. So suppose we are taking scale 1 inch is equal to 8 feet. So we have to divide 433 feet with 8 feet. 433 feet with 8 feet. So we are getting 54 units. So 54 is the size of paper. We have to consider it 54 inches. So let's check the paper size. We have to consider it 54 inches. So let's check the paper size. So here A0 is the highest size of paper or the largest size of paper is 46.8 inch. But we are getting 54 inches. So we need to increase the scale. So let's take 1 inch is equal to 14 feet. We need to increase the scale. Then 433 divided by 14. So we are getting 30.9 unit. Now consider this unit as 30.9 inches. So let's check. The in paper size, so A1 paper size is 23.4 into 33.1 inches. 23.4 into 33.1 inch. So, if we will print this drawing to 1 inch, it's called a 14 feet scale, then it will be perfectly printed in A1 size paper. Okay. So, A1 size a1 paper size is 23.4 into 33.1 inch. So if we will print this drawing to 1 inch is equal to 14 feet scale, then it will be perfectly printed in A1 size paper. So like this, you can prepare your drawing with scale. In next video, I will discuss about area statement in project title, also I'll calculate built up area, FSI area and parking area. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.